Hello and welcome back to the Yarnotopia. So if you caught the last video, you saw that I mentioned that I was going to be talking about some yarn that I recently purchased. And I think I need to sit in this chair for this video because it needs to be somewhat a confessional. And we'll just call this the confessional chair. So it has been 24 hours since my last yarn purchase and going into 2024, I did say that I was going to shop for my stash and I am. However, I did pick up a couple of things. I got a couple of things from Joann's from my random trip to Birmingham, but I stopped in at the thrift store yesterday and I kind of feel like I scored big time. And so I really want to show that to you guys. And then I have two happy mails that I would like to open with you. One of them is from Gina from the Knitting Turnpike and the other is from Jana Kay who is Flourish Evermore. So I'm pretty excited to get into this because Honestly, I didn't even really look at all the stuff that was in the bags that I got at the thrift store. They just had these bags made up and I saw some hand dyed yarn and I grabbed it. Because any yardage of hand dyed yarn I can use for a project. Whether it be from ornaments, stuffies, squares on my mitered square blanket. I just, I grab it. And I want to go through all the stuff that you've seen in the thumbnail with you all. If you are new here, my name is Kim and I guess I should go ahead and say since I'm sitting in the chair that this is going to be somewhat of a confessional video because I did say in 2023 that I was not going to be buying yarn in 2024. And here we are, not even at the end of the month and I am doing a mini haul video. I'm really going to be reserved though with my yarn spending this year just because I do have a plethora of yarn to choose from and I really want to use it all. And that's why I purchased it over the past decade of being a knitter and crocheter. And so I do want to do a bunch of videos on shopping your stash because you may have a large stash as well that you would like to work through. But I did pick up some yarn, mainly because when I went to Birmingham, I don't have a Joann's here. And Every week I am seeing more and more information about the possibility of Joann's shutting down. There was a recent article put out around the 12th about Joann's saying that even from their major layoffs that they had in the fall and winter of 2023, that it has not really recuperated enough of the income and things are looking pretty grim. Which is kind of weird because we only have one Joann's that really within a, I'd say, several hour circumference of Alabama. And that Joann's is typically pretty busy. But I know that there are other locations that have Joann's everywhere and they have had some losses and shutdowns in their stores. And the stores are becoming more and more limited. And it's, it's just kind of sad to see the error of the local yarn store, big box store, come to an end. We've already started seeing LYSs really slow down in the last few years. And it makes me wonder what's going to happen for us knitters and crocheters. Are we only going to have Walmart to get yarn from or Amazon as far as acrylics and big box stores? I don't know. And I guess that's kind of what drove the purchases when I went to Joann's. So we're going to start with the Michaels purchases first because that is the first place that I bought yarn in 2024. So this is pretty much the yarn haul from Michaels. I went in my local store because I kept seeing everyone talk about this huge clearance sale they had. And I talked about these in a previous live, so I'm just going to show off the colors and not go into too much detail. But I got these to try them out because this is one of their new yarns. This is the Loops and Threads Ombre Hues. This color is Coffee, Cream, and Tan, which I bought two of these to make a shawl with. I so soft. And I did talk about them in that recent video that I uploaded where I talk about all the projects that I've been working on for the month. This one is Tangerine, Peach, and White. I really love that and the soft colors along with the yellows. And then I bought this one to pair with it. This one is Slate Gray and White. I'm thinking of doing these together in a project. But I think they're going to look pretty nice. So also at that Michaels, I got the 
Charisma, which is what I made that headband with. I've already talked about that. But what I didn't talk about was this cotton yarn. So this was all on clearance at my store. And this was all the colors that they had. And so I just got one of all, except for this gray that I got three. Because my thought process is I want to make a pullover, lightweight kind of sweatshirt to wear out of these. This is a really soft cotton. I don't know how it's going to last. I don't know the quality of the yarn. I've never used this yarn, so I can't say. But I really... I really like the color palette. So I got three of the gray. This is Loops and Threads Cream Cotton. This is 324 yards, 150 grams. It is 100% cotton. And this is the colorway Mid Gray. It's a four weight yarn. It is 87% cotton and 13% nylon. I just think it was pretty. And it was marked down from $9 to $3. So I couldn't really pass that up because that's a decent amount of yarn for that price. Definitely enough to make me an oversized sweatshirt, which is what I want out of this. I think it'll be so soft. And even though it's cotton, it's something that I can pretty much wear year round. Because even here in the summer with the amount of air conditioning that we have to run, it can get chilly inside pretty easily, and I think this would be perfect for that. And then I got this color. This one's called a Deep Orchid. It is this really pretty purple. I got one of the light gray. This one is called Light Gray. Well, there you go. I got one of the blue. This one is Deep Teal. I got the light purple. This one is called Pale Orchid. It has a leaf on it. <laughs> this one is called Mustard. It's kind of blowing. There we go. That's about the right color right there. And then this one is just called White. So those are the ones that I got to make a pullover of some sort. I'm thinking something along the lines of boxy, which is a pattern from Hohe Locatelli. I would like it to be just oversized and comfy, or I may even use my favorite around the house sweatshirt, which I know you've seen on the channel. It is a gray with a Mickey Mouse on it. That thing is 17 years old and I got it on our honeymoon when we were married in the Smokies. So it's very special to me. And I just love the fit and the weight of it. And I think this will produce something very similar. That same day I ran into Hobby Lobby because they are pretty much right in the same shopping center. And Hobby Lobby was having, were they having their sale? I don't think they were even having their sale, but I don't really go into Hobby Lobby that often anymore. It helps me not buy yarn if I don't go into stores that sell yarn, <laughs> but I had to run in there and I did pick up two things. This is I Love the Yarn print. This is a worsted weight acrylic. It is 100% acrylic. I Love the Yarn is probably one of my favorite acrylics, if I'm being honest. I just love the feel of it. It is definitely, you know, a man-made fiber, but I do like the colors and it's not rough on my hands. This is 142 grams and there's 252 yards in this. This colorway I thought was very pretty. It was the only one they had left and it's called Royal Gorge. Now from what I've seen, some Hobby Lobbies are doing a SKU clearance. My Hobby Lobby, however, is the last to do any kind of SKU clearance. They just take their time, that's fine. And this might've been one of the colors that was getting marked down because it was the only one left. I didn't want to chance it, so I went ahead and grabbed it. I thought about using this for that other pair of slippers that I was talking about, the ballet slippers, and then doing like a white or a solid heart from one of the colors that's in this. I just thought it would be very pretty. And this yarn retails for $4.99, in case you're wondering if you're not in the USA. And what's crazy is this used to be $3.99. 
maybe even $2.99 when I first started. I think it was actually $2.99 when I started in 2013. So the other yarn I got when I was there is one of their authentic hand dyes. This is a yarn be yarn authentic hand dye. It is called Stonework. And this is a 3.5 ounces, 400 yards. It is a fingering weight yarn. It is very pretty. I love the purplish color with the blues. And then it has this lighter color. It was the only one they had left and it may be one of the ones that gets clearanced again. I don't know, but I didn't want to chance it. But I was just in love with the colorway and uh, the sparkles. And for $16.99, I felt like it needed to come home with me. So it did. So Wednesday, I had to take my son to an appointment and there is a Joann's there. So I did run inside and I got a couple of things. There's also a second and Charles there and I'll talk about what I got there in a moment. But Joann's, they have this new Karen Color Rama Halo. And I was just kind of in awe of this yarn. It really, when I first saw it, made me think of the Will of Apaca from Hobie. Although that actually has alpaca in it and this is 100% acrylic. And I love that Karen came out with this yarn because so many people do have skin sensitivities to natural fibers, alpaca being one of them. Alpaca tends to be not as bad on some as it is on others where some people are more sensitive to the lanolin and sheep's wool. It just varies. But I thought this was a very close, similar yarn. I don't want to say knockoff because they're, they're two different yarns and two different yarn companies. But I really also loved the colorways. They're very gradient. They're a very slow changing gradient. And this yarn is very, very soft. It does have a halo. So this may be something that shows a lot of wear and pull when you are, you know, if you have to frog it a lot, but they are different weights. So this is actually a five a bulky and it's 71% acrylic and 18% nylon and 11% polyester. It's eight ounces and 227 grams. And there is a total, this is what kind of threw me off. I was very impressed. 481 yards of a bulky weight yarn in this. So that's a really good pet up as far as yardage for this yarn. I got this green color, which is called Rosemary Frost. I love rosemary. I love cooking with rosemary. And I actually have rosemary growing on our back porch and a planter. I always have fresh rosemary on hand. And I just really love the green. It was very early winter spring for me when I saw it. And I just, I loved it. it it's really a really nice filling yarn. I have no idea what I want to make with this yet. I saw Bonnie Bay Crochet, Bonnie Ray Crochet, Bonnie Bay, Bonnie Baker, Bonnie Bay Crochet was actually, I think, making a baby blanket with this on one of her lives. I will tag that down below in case you're interested in seeing it. She had the lighter color. I think it was like the, the browns or whatever. And it would make a really pretty baby blanket, but she's kind of so far, and you can kind of see the very gradual color change. Very excited about that one. The next thing I got was this big twist party. I just saw this and I loved the color. I am really drawn to pink slightly and I just thought it was very pretty. It is definitely applied yarn. You can see all the little bits and bobs right there. But look how pretty this is. It is also a worsted weight yarn, I think. Yes, it's a number four worsted weight yarn. And there is, where's the deets? 240 yards and 100 grams. And this is the colorway called Canyon. But I just loved the color. No idea what I'm going to do with this. I don't know. But I really liked it. And so I wanted to try it out. And this will be the first time I've ever bought a big twist yarn. I don't own any other big twist yarn at all. And I, I thought I remembered it being kind of scratchy, but this is actually really, really soft and pretty nice. It definitely feels like the I love this yarn 
from Hobby Lobby. Like it has that same kind of sheen to it and texture. So I may pair it with something with one of the solid colors and make something with that. While I was there, I also grabbed one of these. I really like to use natural fibers. I am, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to say I'm a yarn snob, but I, I do enjoy natural fibers. I love them a lot. And I love really nice soft cottons. And I think this definitely fits all of those boxes. This is KC Premium Yarn Knit and Crochet Essential Cotton. It is 100% cotton, 180 yards by 100 grams. This colorway is called Santa Fe. And I just thought it was absolutely really pretty. And I saw it all the way down from the aisle and I just really, really wanted to and how it worked up and if there was any kind of color loss or bleeding because I've never used this yarn either. Just love that. That is just so pretty. And then I saw this one and this is just a Woolies. We've all probably used Woolies at some point. I really like this colorway. I thought it was really, really, I really love pinks and purples. This is Dark Rose Heather. This is a, also a number four weight worsted weight yarn or medium yarn. It's 80% acrylic and 20% wool. It's 197 yards and 8.5 grams. And I thought about even using it with this because they match so well and I didn't even realize that but they're two completely different kind of fibers and I don't like mixing my fibers that much and what I'm talking about is because of the washability so it's okay to blend name brands so if you want to use some red heart with I love this yarn but when you go into mixing up the fiber content that is where you can have some issues down the road so this is a hundred percent acrylic and it is pretty much machine washable, low iron, do not bleach, do not tumble dry, dry flat. So it can't be dried apparently, but this having wool in it, it could possibly felt. It does have a very low percentage of wool. It does say it's machine washable and dryable. Personally, anything with wool, I do not throw in my washing machine especially if I knit it. There is no way. I'm just going to hand wash it all every time and that is okay. I do like how on the big twists they have this size reference guide. I see a lot of people always asking how many balls do I need for this and so for this yarn it suggests for a blanket 10, for a adult sweater 5, for a hat 2, and for a scarf too. I thought that was really cute that they put that on the label and that makes it really an easy grab item for a newer knitter and crocheter who may not know how much to grab each time. Cause there's nothing worse than grabbing a yarn and then starting a project and running out of it and then going to grab another one and it being sold out or the color way lots being totally different and not matching. But I. I really am digging both of those. Right next to that, Joann's is a second and Charles. And what that is, it's a bookstore. They were either owned by Books A Million or they own Books A Million. I can never remember. But they are a excellent place to pick up some books. And they're also an excellent place to sell your older books. You can turn in your older books for some cash. It's never a lot though, just to give you full honesty and upfront disclosure. You can make a lot more money getting a store credit, which is what I always do. And then I turn around and use that store credit to buy knitting and crochet books when they have them in stock. It's never a guarantee of what they have in stock. It just varies by what people bring in or what the company ships out to them to sell at their store. And a lot of that is determined on what the actual SKUs and market is selling. So I went in and I went back to the crafting section of the store and lo and behold was this. So this is a book by Carrie Lord and I talk about her a lot. But she's one of the designers, or the designer, for Toft UK Toys. They're the same people who design the pattern for Ross, who is the channel mascot, because I have so many wild turkey that run around my property. And I just love all her books. I have several of them. But this one is a partridge in a pear tree crochet, the 12 birds of Christmas. And I just thought... 
I needed to get that. This book retails for $16.95 in the US, $25 in Canada, but the price at Second and Charles, I guess this was an oversell or someone had traded it in. I paid $6.95. I thought that was an amazing deal. So this is a hardback book and these are the birds that are in here. So the back of it has the different things from the 12 days of Christmas and what bird they chose to represent that. I just thought that was super, super cute. I'm, I'm pretty excited. I love how her books are written, but as I've mentioned before, they're not very detailed on placement when you go to sew in the things. They're not all one piece. There's always sewing. So going into that, you know, if you're a newer crocheter, this may be something that causes you a little frustration. But I love that she always has really nice photos of all the animals and each bird has a page about them and then it has their photo so you can learn more about them like this is the turtle dove patrice so cute i love peter the blackbird he is something that i definitely want to make <laughs> i love blackbirds they're everywhere here and i love the hair on this one this is ruth the french hen i mean she is just too adorable so cute. So I was super excited to find that book for under $7. Okay, so now the amazing thrift store find because yeah, it was just crazy. So there is a very small thrift store closer to my parents' house. They, it's a hit or miss if, if they ever have any craft stuff. If any of the thrift stores in my area are gonna have craft stuff, they are. And primarily that is because they are right down the road from where an actual local yarn store used to be. So there are crafters in the area and I guess that's just where they donate. But they had several sets of long knitting needles and I love to collect vintage knitting needles, especially these plasticky ones. These are some really old, I don't even know, boy, they say boy USA and these are 10 and a half, but they're kind of this plasticky kind of needle and these I paid 99 cents for and I love the yellow. I don't know what I want to do but I have several pairs of these and I want to do something out here with them. So they also had these pre-made bags of these cables. I talk about knitting and crochet needles a lot on my channel. I do have older blog posts where I go over all the ones that I have. I'm going to make a newer video because the video that accompanied that blog post was deleted when YouTube deleted my previous channel, but I do use my Knitter's Pride Knit Picks and liking needles sometimes, and Lantern Moon also works with those same cables. All of those sets are interchangeable even though they are different brands. And I, this is what actually got me looking in the first place. I was walking down the aisles and I saw these, not one, not two, but three bags of cables just kind of hanging on this thing. And it hit me what they were and I grabbed them, especially when I saw the Lantern Moon tips. So these bags were a total of four, this one was $4.99, this one was $3.99. And this one was $4.99 as well. I think they thought that those were needle tips inside of there, but they're actually just the tightening tool for Lantern Moon needle. But the same tightening tool can be used on Lantern Moon, Likey, and Knit Picks and Knitter's Pride. So this bag has two of the tightening and then it has seven cables and then some of the lantern moon wooden end caps this baggie also has two of the tightening tools from lantern moon and then it has this is an actual lantern moon cable because of the gold you can tell five cables. Another important thing to note about these is they work also with the Tunisian Knitter's Pride Knit Picks hooks and Lantern Moon 
Tunisian like interchangeable sets. And that's kind of why I got these because I do have a set of the Dreams interchangeable Tunisian hooks and I, I like to have a bunch of cables and this provided that for me. This set has two Lantern Moon tightening tools. Four. These are all Knit Picks cables. Knit Picks had the purple cables when they first came out and I think they might have still be purple. I don't know. Knitter's Pride was the black with the silver tips and Lantern Moon has the gold tips. And then the orange are the newer version of the Knitter's Pride, except for this green is actually part of the Knit Picks Shorties set. I actually have this set and I'm happy to get another one of these short cables because they're great for hats and such with those shorty needles. And I would like to say that's all the amazing stuff I got there, but it's not. They also had several bags of yarn and one of the bags was like one of those bags that you get sheets and comforters in. I know they like to use those bags to keep stuff together so it doesn't get lost. So I told them they can keep that bag. They had all of these yarns in one bag and they were priced at $2.99. These are all, I know this one is, I, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. I don't know how many ounces that is. I need to weigh it. I don't know the colorway, but there was that one in there. There was this pink one. And this is more loops and threads impeccable to me looking at how the yarn ply is. It's not, I love this yarn, I know that much. Same with this one. I don't know what brand this is, but it's a light pink. And then here is an orange. And then there was this really, really soft pale pink. So I got all of those for $2.99, which I felt was a pretty good deal. They did have one of the Just Yarns. This is a Dollar Tree yarn. I have a bunch of these, but they're $1.25 and it was not marked down to 99 cents there. And this is just in a blue Premier Worsted. But Premier is actually a really nice acrylic yarn. It's a four weight yarn, 131 yards, 60 grams. And this is the colorway Slate. But for 99 cents, saving a little bit of change from buying it at Dollar Tree, I went ahead and grabbed it. This is what got me excited. These three bags that were there. Because these have some hand dyes in them. And we know how much I love hand dyes. So this is all I could see. And you can see this bag right here was marked for $2.99. I don't even know. This is... Knit Picks. I have some of this exact yarn in three different colors. I know this yarn is Knit Picks. This had to come out local yarn store because that is where I got those. I know it's 100% worsted. I think it's a three weight yarn. This is fingering weight yarn. I don't know what the dyer is, but I just thought that was super pretty. This may be cotton by the feel of it. And by the way, it's skeined up. This is some leftover fingering weight yarn. And this really pretty green colorway. This, I don't know what this is. This is probably something from Hobby Lobby. It has a cotton feel to it, and there is a little bit of tweed colors in it. If anybody recognizes this, I would love to know. This is cotton. I actually have some of this that I'm about to put in my stash. I can't remember the, the brand, but this may be Bamboo Pop. I know that came from that local yarn store. This is, this is a chain ply yarn. And you can tell it's a chain ply yarn, by the way. It has like a crochet chain. This definitely either has linen in it, flax, some kind of plant-like fiber. These make me happy. This is some, I think it's step six, our traking sport weight. I actually have some of this. I think this also came from that yarn store. 
but I can I can tell by the um, feel of the yarn. This is a really pretty hand dyed. It is so pretty. I don't know. And this is probably close to 60 grams. So I may make a hat out of that. I'm guessing it's self striping. I don't even know what that is what dyer, but I love that. $2.99 for that yarn, I thought it was a great deal. So the next bag is this bag. It is also marked at $2.99. This one had some cotton in it, but this also has this hand dyed in it. So this is definitely a hand dyed fingering weight yarn with the wool blend. It's very nice. This, oh my goodness, this is a Lewis Harding or something like that. I know this yarn. I need to look it up and I can and I can figure out the name. I know this brand. <laughs> I can't think of it right now though. And then there's all these DK weight mercerized cotton samples. I'm guessing they got a book or a magazine and these may have came in it with it, but that is a lovely color palette and I can definitely use those to make some cute stuffies. And I love cotton. I love this, this color. This is called Animation 100% DK Mercerized Cotton. They're 62 grams per each of them, 25 yards. Obviously it feels like some of these have been used. I really love this mushroom color. But yeah, so excited about those. We're just gonna let it fall. And then the last bag I saw not only had hand dyed yarn, but it also has Hobie Twister. This one I paid $2.99 for as well. And I have several locals who watch this. So yes, this came from the thrift store over in Alexandria. <laughs> I was so shocked to see it. This is Hobie Twister. I'm thinking this is more the same colorway which is just a lot, our color 117, I'm not sure. This is actually Friends Will, not Hobie Twister. It just, it's just kind of the same though. It's a sport weight yarn. It is 55% cotton, 45% acrylic, and there's 100 grams and a full skein, but I have these two of this one. Oh, here's some more of this colorway. So there's those and that colorway. And then here is some, this is a really pretty light pink. This feels like it's a wool also, the maker is, but it's this really pretty color. And then also in this bag is some more Friends Will in color 95. And then this beauty. I don't even know what this is, but I would love to have more of this. This is such a pretty spring colorway. I love that. It is definitely hand dyed fingering weight yarn. But yeah, I was shocked to see these in that thrift store and I spent about $30 in the thrift store, but I think I got a lot of stuff for $30 and that thrift store, I don't mind supporting them. So I completely forgot that there was one more bag of miscellaneous marked as $1.99 that I grabbed. So we're going to open it up. This one has a lot of the Knitter's Pride end caps and it has the little pins to tighten them, which I use, lose those all the time. It also has a pack of the number this so the way these work is you can actually put these on the cable before tightening it and these are different sizes so it'll say us 11 and then it has the metric size i i love using these if i have to take the needles off there's some nitpicks in caps and these just go on to keep your stitches from sliding off there's one random from that shorties a set this actually goes on a pair of scissors to keep them from stabbing stuff but i actually need that so i'm okay with that and here's another set of the knitter's pride tips and then there's also one shorties needle 
I don't know where the other one is. This is a eight five millimeter. I don't know where it is. There is an extending tool. So you can use these to put several of those cables together, which is great if you're making a blanket. And then there's one random, this is definitely a Nitpicks DPN, which is fine. I'll just keep this in a bag and use it as a cable needle. So another good bag worth the $1.99. I feel like I won definitely in that shopping adventure. So the last things to show are the um, bagging of the Happy Mail that was sent to me. And I'm going to flip the camera around for this. So I thought we'd open up this one first. This is the one that Gina sent. And I went ahead and cut it open. This is one of the things that I have already peeped in. And I'll go ahead and open it first. And I saw that they were these beautiful stitch markers. And then I realized I wanted to open the rest of it with you. But let's look at these. These are from the Hand Stitch Life. Beautiful notions for the modern maker. And shophandstitchlife.com. A really cute little card. These are so pretty. I really love grays and purples. And this is a very pretty a lavender gray bead and they are my favorite kind of stitch markers and that is just some basic round ones for knitting and I like that these are the smaller rings because I tend to knit with smaller gauge needles here is a card look how pretty that is that is very very pretty it's embossed and Gina says you reminded me of this during Vlogmas. Thought you needed more kitty cuteness. Enjoy your videos so much. Lots of love, Gina. I love watching Gina's videos as well. She is such an amazing knitter and she knits so fast. What is this? Oh my goodness. That is adorable. Tiny sheep kit. Knit two a sheep. A super small, super quick knitting project from Mimuchi Land. So back in vlogmas when i did my ornament video i did show where i made these two little cats and that was a little kit that i got from gina so many years ago she did not even have a youtube channel at that point and that's what started my friendship with her and so she sent me this adorable little kit and i love these and just so you can get an idea, I'm not going to open it all the way up because I don't want to share the pattern. It is a paid for pattern. But I just use some basic little stitches for knitting and you make two of these cute little sheep. The yarn included is Cascade 220 Fingering Weight Yarn and 8505 White. And Heritage Yarn in Strawberry Cream, which is this pink, real black, and then the brown. Super, super cute. I love how it includes its own little bag of stuffing. That's precious. I'm going to really enjoy making that and having it sit somewhere in the studio. This bag has one more thing in it. Oh, it is another precious kit. Hang in there cat kit. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. A quick and little knitting project for advanced knitters. Inside includes the knitting pattern for in the flat and circular versions. Well, that's interesting. You don't see that all the time. I refuse to knit stuff flat. I hate seaming, so I will definitely be using the circular version. Wool yarn, polyester filling, plastic eyes, and the wool yarn is hand dyed from Gnome Depot Fiber. And it tells you the size needles you'll need, a stick and a tapestry needle. And there's a stick in here. I wonder if Gina put this stick in here. Gina, you have to let me know if you put this stick in here. Oh, it's a really pretty brown. I really love this yellow. And there's the green, the pink, and the black. I guess that is to accent the stick with yarn. 
I like just the bare stick though. I think that's cute. I don't know. That's tough. And that's just the pattern. But oh, I love these. I am so thankful for Gina and our friendship. And I cannot believe she sent me these because these are absolutely adorable. But I really do enjoy little projects like this and having these sit somewhere around. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this little guy. He needs to be somewhere over here. I need to try to figure out a way that I can have him just kind of sticking out in front of my window. Love that. So cute. Thank you so much, Miss Gina. I greatly appreciate these. The next happy mail I got is from Miss Jana Kay. You may know Miss Jana Kay from Flourish Evermore. She has a Bible study based channel. It is a really great if you ever want to get into scripture and do some crafting at the same time. I really enjoy listening to her videos as well. But she contacted me and she wanted to send me a happy mail while she was stateside and Oh my goodness. What is this? Do you see all of this? How pretty? I see a card. Let me try to fish out the card before I start looking at the yarn. Very pretty sunflowers. Ooh, there's glitter on them. I don't know if you can see the glitter. It's just a little bit. I'm not going to show all the card. I'm just going to read part of it. It says... I love your channel and have enjoyed getting to know you through the videos and lives. One thing that I really appreciate is how you treat crochet and knitting equally, not just doing both, but believing both are equally worthy of quality, specialty yarn. That said, I thought you might enjoy some yarn from South Africa. Oh my goodness. It is produced and dyed in South Africa, helping give People work so they can provide for their families and joy. Janet K. Flourish, Faith, and Fiber. I don't even know where to jump in because I see a lot of gorgeous colors. And I just mentioned in my previous video that I am all about the pinks lately. So this is Vinny's Colors. This is a 70% cotton slub, 30% bamboo varicus or vicose. This is really soft. Look how pretty that is. This is a DK weight yarn. It is recommended needle and hook size 4 to 7. 96 yards per 1.75 ounces or 50 grams. It's really, really pretty and soft. It is very heathered, so it's, it's more of a tonal than a solid color. And it looks like there is kind of more of a plied yarn so it has like a thread and then it has a more woolen spun that are plied together and this is very pretty this is a Vinnie's colors cotton yarn this one is 119 meters 130 yards per 50 grams recommended needle size three to six it is also a DK light worsted and it is a plied yarn this color is pink very soft as well Another Vinnie's cotton. This one is a plum color. Very, very pretty. Another cotton. This one is in Princess Pink. So these three are the same. Another cotton blue. It's a very pretty pale shade of blue. This one is in white. What are these? This is double knit hydrania 50 grams so dk is also a cotton that is really really pretty and is this the same thing this is shimmer 50 percent bamboo 50 percent cotton this one is called twinkle it's a four ply definitely want to use these that are all the same in a project together. This is a really, really, it's hard to think that this is just cotton because it is very merino kind of feeling. I have an idea for both of these. They kind of look like they would match pretty well and I have a really cute idea to do with these. Something I've been wanting to do. I need to do a little sample 
See, I really, really like those. Thank you so much, Miss Janike. I think it's so awesome to have yarn from another country. Like, that is, that is super cool. I'm really impressed with how soft this cotton is. I am definitely going to have to also research these companies and find out more about them because I think that's awesome that they provide money for people in Africa. I am so grateful and thankful for Miss Jana Kay, who is Flourish Evermore, and for Gina the Knitting Turn Pike for sending these to me. I love both of the Happy Meals so much. I really am excited to make those kits up and to use that yarn, especially being a yarn from another country. I just, I'm very sentimental about things like that, and I love the memories that can be attached to those kind of projects, like the kit and the yarn, because just like those two ornaments that I made out of the kit I got from Gina last year or what, however many years ago, Every time I get those out and put those on my tree or whatever I make and whenever I use that or talk about that item, I am flooded with all of the memories from the friendship that I have with the person who give, who gifted me that. So I, I am really truly appreciative and thank you so much. You did not have to do that. And they have brought me great joy today. That is all I really have for today's video. I just want to say thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I value your time greatly and I am super excited that you decided to spend time with me and very thankful for you. I love reading your comments so I hope you let me know down below if you recognize any of the yarns that I found in those grab bags and maybe you know, the colorways or the company that makes them or the dyer, I would be super excited to hear. I also would love to know what you think I should make with the yarn that Jenna Kay sent me. If you can think of a project to use all of those cottons together, I think I have an idea what to use the sparkle or shimmer, whatever it was called, and that blue. I think I have something in mind for those. I'm not really sure. So I will share that with you another time. I hope that you all have a wonderful crafty week. I hope that you really spend time in your craft and just having some meaningful moments to help us deal with the stress of the day and the weeks. I truly appreciate each and every one of you and I just really enjoy talking about yarn with you all and sharing projects and excitement when we find great yarn deals. So if you've gotten any lately, I would love to know about them as well in the comments. I really love to hear about them. So until next time, you can find me here in this video or I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching and hope you have a very joyful week.